Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I thought it'd be cool to take a look at the cards that come with the Crimson Court Warhammer Underworlds Warband that is available to pre-order from tomorrow. And as it's coming out tomorrow, this couldn't be a better time to take a look at these awesome cards. And I don't normally do videos on the card packs, but I was really impressed with the artwork. It looked really good. I thought I'd take a quick look and share it with you here. So here we go. This is the article and this came out on the 6th of April. So we've had a few days to look at this now. And it says here that led by the cunning Prince Duval, the vampire warband known as the Crimson Court found their way into the living mountain by chance and they're wasting no time sampling the buffet of prey inside. With both physical and magical power at their fingertips, the vampires are hell-bent on making Diachasm their newest and greatest hunting ground. And here's the miniatures. We've seen these a lot now. I've done a few videos on them, and so you can check that out. And I recently did a video where I looked at some of the Legions of Nagash fighter cards for Warcry and paired it up with these miniatures to make a little Warcry warband. So that's up on the channel too. But this video is all about the cards, so let's take a look at them in detail now and it says here while control of their hunger brings special abilities and is required for inspiration the savage bloodlust that takes over should their thirst run rampant comes with its own benefits too after all a burst of murderous fury might be just what you need to crack open the walking bags of blood we call mortals and so here's the fighter cards for prince duval and we've got the the regular and the inspired and so these look great. I'm not going to go and read through them or anything like that. I'll wait till we get the actual set and do that with the miniatures built because I think that's better. But just want to look at the artwork and the layout. I really like it. The faction room mark is great. And I like the, the artwork they've done representing the fighters. Really good. And here's Goroth the Enforcer. This guy looks awesome. He looks like a beast. Great miniature. And really interesting stats on the card. Then we've got... Velas von Fein, and this is the one I used as a leader for my Warcry war brand. I thought it suited it and looked quite good. So that's that one. And then finally, we've got Enius Curseborn. This guy's got the wings, so imagine he's going to have some kind of ability that helps him fly around and get some extra distance. So that's the fighter cards, and then it says here, as the most savage and impulsive of the warband, Ennius takes flight while inspired and can soar across enemy fighters and dangerous terrain alike. He's quite capable of bashing in a few heads with his mace when he gets wherever he's going to. So yeah, so there we go. He can actually move over enemy fighters, which is interesting. And we saw that with the Starblood Stalkers. There's one of the fighters can do that too. So they can move through dangerous terrain and pass through other fighters. So that's really great. And now we come on to the cards. And it says here that being an aggressive bunch of fighters, the Crimson Court has several objectives that take advantage of their overwhelming power. Best of all, with cards like Blood Curse, you're rewarded for either killing a whole bunch of enemies or protecting your own fighters. And so here we go. Here's the first objective card, Blood Curse. Again, the artwork's looking awesome. He's got one of the Dread Pageant there, holding her up by the neck. And then we've got the Enforcer's Cloak. And now we start getting to some really nice ones, really nice pictures now and illustrations here driven to hunt and so they've picked out a few of the different ones and now we get to see all of them so it's pretty cool that they do this on the warhammer community site you get to see all the cards so you can have a real good look i'll put a link down in the description below if you want to go and check this out and read through the cards yourself but this one on the top right the bestial transformation that's a great image and i really like all of these looking at them all laid out like this I think these are definitely going to be my favourite card pack visually, you know, looking at them. So that's really good. There's another one down the bottom here, Tenebrous Form. That looks really interesting. So as an overall kind of pack, these look so great. Glutton for Gore, that looks awesome. He's just got a mouthful of blood and guts or whatever. So that's crazy. And so they're really action poses as well, really looking good. And now we've got the objective cards. Nice. On the chase looks great. The way he's flying through the air there. And recovered poise, just wiping his mouth after he's had a little feast. So they're really great. And now I guess these are the universal ones. So we start seeing images of different fighters, Starblood Stalkers. 
Miari's purifiers and all those. And these look good too. Yeah, I think these are definitely my favourite pack. There's some great, great illustrations here. And then the Universal Objective cards. Nice. There we go. So that's all the cards. So again, I'll put the link below and you can check it out in more detail. And these are all available to pre-order from tomorrow. And so that's going to be awesome if you want to pick up some vampires for Underworlds. And you can always use the miniatures in other games like Warcry 2. And tomorrow you can also pick up the Warhammer Underworld starter set. I probably won't be getting that. I think there's a lot of repeated stuff in there. I may get the extra card pack though. But um, we'll see. I'll have to wait and find out a little bit more about that before I decide. But I'll definitely be getting the Crimson Court. I'll put a link in the description below to Element Games, and so you'll be able to save up to 20% there. So I think the RRP on these is going to be 25, but if you follow the link, you should get a great saving. And that'll be an affiliate link, but it won't cost you anything extra. In fact, you're going to save that money, and for every sale made through an affiliate link, I get a small commission, and that's going to help me do loads more videos like this. So thanks so much for that support. I really appreciate it. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description. And it'll be great to see you there. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you're ordering tomorrow, happy days. It'll be great to get some vampires on the scene. And thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it. Subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. <laughs>